Hello, this is Miss Lee, and today we're going to start talking about writing algebraic equations. So this is the first of three videos, and this video is going to focus on expressions versus equations. So we know what an expression is. An expression is when you have numbers and you have operations. An algebraic expression will have numbers, operations, and variables. So what is an equation? An equation is a mathematical statement that two expressions are equal. It may or may not contain variables. So for example, 3 plus 5 equals 8. This is an equation. This is saying that 3 plus 5, this expression 3 plus 5, is equal to 8. An algebraic expression is the same thing, except for it contains at least one variable. So this could be 3 plus x equals 8. This would be an algebraic expression. Let's go ahead and take a look at this table. This table is going to kind of indicate or show the differences between expressions and equations. One thing to remember about expressions is that it, it represents a single value. So 5 plus 4. This is a numerical expression. There are no variables in it. It's not an equation because the equation will have the equal sign. 5 plus 4 equals 9. In words, the expression would be a number plus 4. We don't know what it equals, do we? It's just an expression. Algebraic would be n plus 4. It has the variable. When you look at the equations, the numerical tells you what it equals. 5 plus 4 equals 9. A number plus 4 is 9. Is is one of those clue words that means equal. An algebraic expression would be n plus 4 equals 9, so it's telling you what it equals. An algebraic equation repre represents two expressions that use symbols, numbers, and operations. The main difference, again, is that an equation has the equal sign. And if you look at the word equation, it actually looks like the word equal, doesn't it? Except for it's missing the L. Let's look at these two situations. The one on the left says that there were eight roses in the vase. Sarah added more roses from her flower garden. How many roses are, are now in the vase? So it's asking us to find how many roses the are, how many roses are in the vase. So they're wanting us to find the total amount. The total is going to equal r. So this would be our equation. Eight, which is the beginning number of roses in the vase, plus the five additional roses Sarah added, is going to equal r, the total. This is what we call a numerical equation because you're solving the variable just represents the total. Looking at the situation on the right, there were eight roses in the vase. Sarah added more from her flower garden. There are now 13 roses in the vase. How many roses are did Sarah add? This time we know the total. There are now 13 roses. This is our total, our equals amount, 13. It equals 13. Well, what equals 13? The eight roses she had plus the additional amount that she added. So this is what we would call more of an algebraic equation because you know the total and you're solving for a variable. This is the difference between the numericals and the algebraic and we're going to be learning the algebraic type of equations, how to write the algebraic type of equations. Okay, expressions versus equations. Determine whether each is an expression or if it's an equation. 2 plus 12. Go back to your notes. What was the most important thing to remember about equations? How are they different from expressions? Because of that equal sign. Is there an equal sign here? No. Therefore, this is just an expression. Ryland ran five miles. The distance Keaton ran is two more miles than the distance Ryland ran. Is this an expression or an equation? Since an equation has the equals, we need to look and see, do we have a, an equal amount, a total amount, a whole amount? Are we given that? We are. We know what Ryland ran. He ran five miles. So because of that, we can figure out what Keaton ran. So this is an equation. 8s minus 10 equals negative 3. Remember, this 8s means 8 times s. And super easy, it has an equal sign, therefore it is an equation. Twice as many cookies. 
Do we know the total? We don't know a total, so therefore we cannot figure out what twice as many cookies would be. This is an expression. C divided by five. Do we know what C divided by five equals? No, there is no equal sign, so it is an expression. And now you can go ahead and go to the second video, which is going to be actually writing algebraic equations.